It's week 38 of Zer, so we're going to find out what he has this week, as well as give you guys my recommendations, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, as I said, it is week 38 of Zer, and Zer is located on Titan by the rig so we're gonna mark him and find out what he has this week Zer, what's up dude so like always we're gonna start the left hand side the first exotic we'll be going over is the wings of sacred dawn for the warlock it comes with three mobility and one recovery and trended perk on this is tome of dawn which when dawn blade is equipped aiming weapons while in midair suspend you there for a short time precision hits extend this effects duration then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Power Bracket Mod. I have said this multiple, multiple times. Wings of Sacred Dawn is not really that good in PvE or PvP. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a tier 4, maybe even a tier 3.5 in PvE and PvP. Just team shotting is still huge in PvP and... Ads will just destroy you while you're in the air, so this really is kind of pointless for you to even use. Now, we're going to skip over the weapon of the week and go straight to the next exotic um, armor, which is the Frost EE5 for the Hunter, and this comes with 3 mobility. And trying to perk on this is Rapid Cooldown, which increased grenade, melee, and dodge regeneration while sprinting, dodging increased your sprint speed. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, and this also comes with a Self-Repairing Mod. Now, this is better used in PvP than it is in PvE. However, it's not to say that it's not that good in PvE as well. So, I'm actually going to give this a Tier 2 in PvP, and probably, you know, uh, you know what, a Tier 2 in PvE as well. Um, there are a lot of people who do use the Frost EE5s, so... Uh, it's, it's, it's one of the top tier exotics for the Hunter class. Um, it just requires you to run. <laughs> but then again, when we're in playing Destiny, don't most of us run anyways. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the Frosties. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Eternal Warrior for the wonderful Titans out there. This comes with one mobility and two resilience. And trying to perk on this is Resolute which you gain in Overshield when activating Fist of Havoc. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Arc Impact Mod. Now, the fact that you gain in Overshield when activating Fist of Havoc is great. However, I don't feel like it's that necessary as long as you have the majority of Masterwork armor on, then you know, you're know you probably pretty good when you're uh, using your super because it makes you harder to kill. This kind of in a way, add salt to the wound, you know. Um, you're already harder to kill when you have full Masterworks um, armor on, and then this just, you know, just an overshield. It just gives you just that, you know. It's a good exotic, but I still feel like there are better exotics out there for the Titan. But in PvP, I'm probably still going to give this a tier 2 to 2.5, and in PvE, it's just overkill. In PvE, literally... With this effect, I'm probably just going to give it a 1.5 to tier 2. Because, like I said, it's overkill in PvE. Weapon of the Week is the Telesto, which is a Void Fusion Rifle. And treasure perk on this is Unplanned Reprieve, which Fusion Projectiles attached and detonate with a Delayed Void Blast. Then we have uh, Projection Fuse. Harbinger's Pulse, which multi-kills with this weapon, immediately reload your equipped kinetic and energy weapons from reserves. And then we have Polymer Grip. And like all exotics, they come with a plus 5 weapon attack mod. If you do not have Telesto, go ahead and grab it. It is good in PvE, it is good in PvP, it is uh, like just amazing in both of them. I probably would rate this a tier 1.5 in both PvE and PvP. And it's great to take down bosses, it's great to take down ogres. It's just a good all-around exotic. And if you're doing the Escalation Protocol 
and somebody actually has uh, the shotgun that bumps and does more void damage, then the Telesto will help take down those enemies a lot faster. I totally forgot what the shotgun was called. Don't mind me. <laughs> um, next, we have your wonderful three of coins and consumables. You pop one and you have a chance to get an exotic for four hours. And then we have your five of swords. If you do not have this, go ahead and grab it. And yeah, you'll get the wonderful effects of that. And last but not least, we have the faded engram. Now, real quick, if you do not have one of these exotics, go ahead and grab these prior to grabbing the Faded Engram because they do definitely have a chance to get one of these for 97 Legendary Shards. And since I do not have the Eternal Warrior, I'm going to go ahead and grab one prior to popping the Faded Engram. So, let's see what we get with this Faded Engram for this week. I'm kind of hoping it's going to be um, Armamentarium. Hoping. Oh, my dream come true. Armamentarium, I love you. If you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.